Hello and welcome to the 81st tutorial in the CodeCast 2DJS version 3 series. In this part we'll be looking at the UI text field element. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. CodeCast 2DJS provides us with a UI extension which contains loads of UI elements enabling us to create great menus, hoods, etc. In this tutorial we will look at the UI text field element this could be used in a game to allow the player to set their name for a high score they have achieved. So, before we can actually code any UI elements, we need to include the extension module into our project. It's really simple. Open up your project folder. And then what you want to do is open up project.json. And then here, after Cocos 2D, you want to put quotation marks and inside you want to put extensions save it and that's the extension module included and now we're ready to start coding our text field so let's open up the app.js first thing we're going to do is create a global variable so I'm going to put text field initialize it to no comma comment out this sprite and let's initialize the text field so it's going to be equal to new ccui dot text field. Then we're going to do text field dot set. Do it. Touch enabled as obviously we want to be able to interact with this. Now what we're going to do is text field dot set. Now in font name you don't see, you don't use the keyword set. Yeah, all over the place. And for this, I'm going to put marker felt text field dot place holder, and this just appears when there's nothing there. So it's just a little bit of a tip, a hint. Input text here. Sometimes it says click here. It's just uh, a bit of a feedback to the user so they know what to do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is text field dot font size and uh, keep doing that equal to 30 text field dot x equals size dot width divided by 2. We're just going to center it in the x and y axis. So set Text field dot y equals size dot height divided by two, and now what we're going to do is just add it to our layer. So this dot add child text field. You don't have to set the position this way individually. You can set it the same way as here. So dot set position. The great thing about this in certain instances is that if you just need to affect the X position, you can just do that. Really simple. So let's open up our terminal cd to our project directory, run the cocus command. Okay, so we have a little place that says input text here. If I click it, and I start typing, I can input text. If you're on the third iPhone and you, and you click it, what would happen is the keyboard will pop up. But at the moment, that's great. But a lot of the time, you want to be able to get the text back to do something with it. It's, for example, if it's the name for a high school, you want to be able to get it so you can save it in the database. So if we just open up our app.js again, and we just need to create an event listener. Before we create it, we'll just assign it to the text field. So text field dot add event listener. In here, I'm going to put this dot text field event this. Now what we're going to do is put a comma text field ooh, event colon function. Sender type and in here we're going to put a switch case so switch and switch on type first case we're going to put is case 
ffui.textfield.vent underscore attach underscore with underscore me, I mean IME, not me, colon cc dot log activate. Basically, this will occur when you select it. Break. And we're just going to copy and paste this to save time. The next one we're going to do is event detach. So DE, I'm going to change this to deactivate. And now the next event we're going to pick up is insert text, which just gets triggered when text is being typed inside it. I'm going to say insert character. Also going to do a cc log of text field dot string, and this will be the string that's within the text field. So. This is the way we would be able to get it and then maybe store it in a database. Next thing we're going to do is case. I'll just copy and paste it actually. So text field, and for this one, I'm going to do delete. I'm going to go backward. And for this one, I'll say delete character cc.log text field dot string save that we're all ready to run this application now so if we refresh open up the console window and I can only to open it up first if I click on it it says activate and if I type away it says insert character and obviously if I delete it says delete character or delete Spelt delete wrong, delete character, and there's nothing there. So if I put hello world, this is Batman, and if I click enter, I, it's been deactivated. And if I type now, nothing is appearing because we're no longer typing to our text field. It's really that simple to use a text field. I'm going to show you a couple of other things that you can do with it, and these are really common scenarios. You may want to put a character length on your text field, and it's really simple. All you do is do text field dot set max length enabled, and you're going to put true. I'm going to put text field dot set max length, and for this, I'm just going to put 12. Save it. We go back to our web browser, refresh, click on there, and we're going to do so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And if I keep typing or try to keep typing, it doesn't work. And if I delete and I type again, it obviously deletes the characters and then it allows me to go back to a maximum of 12. There's also another feature I want to show, and that is text field dot set password enabled to true and if it's a password within our game or even in your application because applications have been made using Cocos 2D you can just do set password enabled and set password style not world word style text and in here you just specify what you want to mask each character with. A very common practice is just an asterisk, so if I save that, go back to my web browser, refresh, click on it, and if I type away, as you can see I'm typing hello world because it's printing out in the console, but it's just showing up as asterisk. Obviously we still got the limit as well that we set right here. That's really cool. We've got a maximum limit, we have a Password style text as well, and obviously you can replace this with something else if you want to go crazy. Just experiment with it. Add an extra task, run it on a device or a simulator, and see how it works. 
in the next tutorial we will cover using the UI layout. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.